Here we have Makeup Foundation in Teleplay. And let's let it spin some more so that you see the full effect. I decided to put it in like a nice calm waterfall scene. Speaking of which, I can probably add some nice waterfall sound effects because I know we have those. So. Okay, <laughs> that looks pretty cool. Oh, that this waterfall effect is kind of loopy. So let's try another one. Yeah, I like this. This sound effect is longer. So it's not gonna cut off as often. Okay, I think that looks pretty awesome. And one of the reasons I did this particular product is because um, uh, some customers are like, hey, it's not working with, with the reflective item. But let me just show you the, the setup that I have to make an item like this look pretty good. Um, let's turn this down. So see, here's the product. Uh, let me show you the lighting situation. Let's zoom out a little. So in this case, I have one, two lights, two 100 watt LEDs lighting the green screen so that it's nice and evenly lit. Then I have one, two 60 watt daylight LED bulbs lighting the actual product. And notice how close these two lights are to the actual product. Um, uh, they're so close that if I put one of these lights just a tad closer, it's gonna be in the frame of the, of the whole scene. And sometimes I see posts where uh, in the group where these like, where the lights are like a foot or two away and it's just not gonna look good. Uh, basically, when you have a super reflective item like this, you always want the lights to be like, basically almost kissing it. Like the lights are here. And then it'll look pretty good. Um, just have a couple lights, uh, one or two, preferably two lights like this, really close to your product if it's super reflective, like this one is here. Uh, let's see what happens when I put this light like a lot further away. Okay, it's actually still looks pretty good even when it's like three feet away. The issue is that when I put the second, the second light farther away, three feet, then the whole thing is gonna start to look bad. Let, let's try it while I'm here. Let's put this light like much farther away. Okay, see, now the whole thing is starting to look bad. I still have these two lights lighting the product, but because they're so far away, like the wood piece is gone, there's already invisibility within the actual product. Uh, so see how close the lights are um, to a reflective product. It matters, it's a huge deal. So whenever something is as reflective as this, just make sure you have lights that are really close to it. And preferably um, the product like this is on a base uh, that doesn't have any green below it. Um, like, let's see what happens when I take the base off. Okay. Okay, it still kind of works. Um, depending on how much realism you're going for, this can actually work really well. The issue is like, I don't like how this is kind of invisible at the bottom, but maybe I'm being nitpicky and I feel this wooden floating thing kind of works well with the rest of the scene. Um, so generally putting a base below a, a super reflective product can make it look better than it, it is by itself, where it's just above a green surface like that. Okay, so that's the lighting situation. Now for the actual stuff I'm doing in the, in the app itself. So let's just take this out, let's pretend there's nothing in the app anymore. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is click on the calibrate button. Just click on the calibrate button. Um, if you didn't download a background, uh, you know, just first of all, make sure to take your product out of the scene, press calibrate. 
And if it's and if a background doesn't immediately show up, just download another background, um, and that's it. And then you can put your product back into the scene. You can turn on the post suppression to remove any of the green halo effects that come with a green screen. And then you can just add the waterfall effect. In this case, I believe I used large waterfall loopable. You can also search for that name inside large waterfall loopable. Just search for it right here and then you'll find it. And that's it guys. Um, I'd prefer to maybe put this on top of the wooden wooden log thing. And that's it guys. That's how I made the scene. And I'm here if you have any questions.